Hi there. Now we are going to read lesson 324. I merely follow, for I would not lead. Paragraph 1, the prayer. Father, you are the one who gave the plan for my salvation to me. You have set the way I am to go, the role to take, and every step in my appointed path. I cannot lose the way. I can but choose to wander off a while and then return. Your loving voice will always call me back and guide my feet aright. My brothers all can follow in the way I lead them, yet I merely follow in the way to you as you direct me and I, and would have me go. So here's another statement I had to make to God. I had to say, God, you've already placed in me a knowingness of love. You've, you've placed inside of me this, this GPS, this guidance system that says, do what feels happy, do what feels good, be at peace, be at ease. And when I follow that, then I know that I'm listening to the voice for God. Well, when Spencer was doing drugs, in my anxiety, I was not feeling my peace. So I had to make the decision that God already gave me the path. The path is to, to listen to uh, the guidance inside of me that kept telling me, come into your peace, come into your peace. If I had a fear, if I had an anxiety, I had to choose to let that go and come back into my peace. So God has already given us how to feel our way back into our truth. And that is to, to contrast does this feel at peaceful or does it feel anxious? Is this fear or is this love? Is this condemnation or is this collaboration? Is this a judgment or is this feeling joyful for others? We have inside of us everything that we need to find our way back home. Why? Because home, home is that place of peace and of joy inside of us. Home is where we meet God within us. See, God is that love that when we connect with it, we can begin to extend to our neighbor. Well, I could not give Spencer love, especially not the love of God, until I found that love inside of me that then could call the love of him back into his own self because he was searching for love outside of himself. He was looking for drugs to make him happy and peaceful which lasted for a short, tiny bit of time. He would go up high, feel good, and then boom, he'd be down, feeling all stressed out and needed another high again. So my work was to help him see that he was searching for something to make him better, but he was only going to find his inner sustainable inner peace forever if he came inside. But how could he come inside unless I became the example of me doing it so that he could see me and then follow in the footsteps? Because it says in here, my brothers all can follow in the way I lead them. So I had to be the one who started the leading, but I could only lead Spencer because I chose to follow God. So God has sent us teachers, Jesus being one of them. I follow what Jesus taught me through A Course in Miracles. And that helped Spencer watch me move in that direction. So he had then had me to follow. So we're all leading each other home if we follow in the footsteps of, of a master. And we follow the path that God has to create is the only way for us to find our joy. Why? Because when we sacrifice our fears and our anxiety, we return to love. Who doesn't want that? Paragraph number two. So let us follow one who knows the way. I follow Jesus. Spencer followed me. Um, you may be following me. You may be following another teacher. It doesn't matter who we follow, but we're all going in the same direction eventually if we're all listening to the voice for God inside. Sentence number two, we need not tarry and we cannot stray except an instant from his loving hand. We walk together for we follow him. Humanity is all being pulled in this direction. It appears that we're not, but we really are when you begin to understand the energies of what's happening. And it is he who makes the, in, the ending sure and guarantees a safe return home. Until we come to know God inside, we're not going to return. Uh, we're not going to know where, that we have returned home. But when you feel the love of God inside, you feel that peace inside, then you know you have come inside to where home is. And it's been there all along. We just got outer focus. So we were looking for love and happiness outside of us. And if we couldn't find it, we would take drugs or something to numb our discomfort. And of course, that kept us searching outside of us for more, more, more. Um, 
when those things can be dropped and you begin to realize that you don't need anything out that from outside of you, it's because you've started coming inside and you find that your company is enjoyable. The peace that you feel is fabulous. The quiet that is inside is you cherish it. Once you begin to get comfortable with that, you begin to develop a relationship with God. Now you begin to follow God and not be the one who leads because when we're leading, we're always going to lead ourselves astray. When we follow, we're following the path of least resistance and it only has one place to go to. It returns us to love, period. Thanks a bunch and I'll see you in the next lesson.